What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So today we're gonna do another apparel review, this time from Nike. So we're gonna review the Nike Dry Fit Swift Tights that looks like it was just released. Uh, we're gonna, since it's winter time here, a lot of people might be looking into buying a pair of running pants or tights. So we're gonna look at these tights, look at the specs and see if this is worth your hard earned money. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your contribution and support. So let's get this review started. So the Nike Dry Fit Swift tights are fairly new. Um, they Nike does have the regular Swift pants line that's been around for years, and those are meant for you know colder weather running. Uh, they have pretty much half tights, half pants. These are very similar, but they're used as dry uh, the ribbed material, similar to the version that was released in the summer, uh, the shorter tights version. Um, these cost $120 here in the U.S., so they're pretty expensive for a pair of running tights. Uh, they have about a 28-inch inseam. Uh, these are also made in Cambodia and the materials are 89% polyester and 11% spandex. Um, so for me, uh, which is about 5'6", these come, uh, they're pretty long on me so they kind of ruffle on the bottom um, of my ankle area. Uh, these don't come with any zipper on the bottom uh, by the ankle area so they're just all, all ribbed material uh, throughout the entire tights. So this is, these pants feature a lot of cool uh, things. Uh, they have the inside and outside waistband I can use to customize your fit. However, when putting these on, I really didn't need to adjust these waistbands at all. They kind of just stayed on and never came off. They were a little bit tight to put on initially, but after a while, if a little bit of adjusting, they fit really well and it kind of like a second skin to your legs. Um, these have a lot of pockets, and I mean a lot of pockets on them. The first pocket is behind kind of like the hamstring or the knee area where you can put a full-size wallet or even a credit card on the back of here. And it stretches so you can you know fit a lot of things in here and it doesn't come out or anything while running. And, you, and I thought when you put something in here, you kind of feel it while you're running, but honestly, I didn't really feel uh, having something on here. So it was really nice design by Nike. Um, on the back, there's a ton of pockets. On the two hip areas, you have these zipper pockets as well where you can put credit cards or even keys or anything like that. And then on the side, there's also two elastic bands where you can hang like your inside layers or shirts that you want to take off if you're too hot. Um, I sometimes put gloves or my neck gaiter in here and it hangs on and doesn't come off, which is very convenient. And in the middle, you have this huge rectangular pocket which I was able to fit my Pro Max phone in there, which I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it does fit a lot of things in here. However, if you have a huge phone, it might not feel too comfortable with that thing hitting your, you know, your back every time you run. So it might be great for a smaller phone. You could definitely fit a Max or a big phone in here. Uh, but you know, it's, it feels kind of strange having such a huge phone on your hip area. But it definitely does fit that and all the pockets are lined with this you know anti you know dry fit kind of material so your sweat doesn't come in contact with your devices or anything uh, that you put in there and on the top the waistband is made of this fly vent perforated technology so it's very breathable and very uh, stretchy and inside you have this liner that's exactly the same as the summer tights which is very comfortable and it helps you know with chafing issues uh, i didn't have any uh, chafing problems with these tights just like the ones in the summer so they're very nice and comfortable and also in the back of the inside liner there's also a tiny pocket as well if you just want to put like a fob or some small key in here so a lot of pockets here, a lot of functionality, uh, everything else, the rib material is very similar to the summer tights. Very comfortable, very breathable. The Nike logo here is made of rubber uh, instead of kind of like printed, which is very nice. I you know I think they did a great job changing it to this instead of printed because you know, after a while when you're wash, washing it or you're wearing it, the print can stretch and ultimately the logo will fall off. So with this rubber material, you know, you know I guess glued on it won't it's unlikely that you know the print will come off or this will fall off so and also these tights have these reflective materials on the leg area by your ankles and calves so for nighttime running so the entire length of these tights are made with the same you know ribbed material except the bottom 
uh, by your calves angle area, you'll have the same material, but it's going to go the other direction horizontally. Um, the feel is pretty much the same. Uh, inside might be a little bit thinner compared to the top version, but overall you have a great fit and it's very comfortable. What do I like about these tights? Like I said before, they're super comfortable. They're almost like a second skin um, to my legs while running. And when I'm striding, I don't feel it bothering my legs or anything at all. Um, these, uh, when you're holding them, they feel a little bit heavy, but when you have them on and actually running, it, I don't even like feel anything uh, with these tights on. So uh, they feel really good, comfortable, and sweat wicking is also excellent on these tights. Um, so they wick away sweat very well. And I thought, you know, running in cold uh, temperatures, these would be a little bit too cold for me. But I ran in almost uh, 19 or 20 degrees and they were still pretty warm. Uh, I didn't have any issues with my legs, you know, freezing. So uh, surprisingly, these are pretty warm uh, in my opinion. And, um, you know, you, you can definitely run in these for a cold climates um, and similar to the other Nike Swift line. Also, a ton of pockets, super uh, nice, very good functional. Uh, so I can put pretty much everything I want in these tights, even though I tried not to. Uh, you can put a large phone, keys, your wallet, a mask, gloves, everything pretty much on here. And the two elastic bands on the back of the pockets are also very nice. If you want to put like a small shirt, gloves, or anything like that, you don't want to carry while running. So very functional, and I, I really you know like how Nike listened to probably a lot of their runners about not having enough pockets on their pants or tights, and they kind of went overdrive and you know built way too many pockets, <laughs> in my opinion, for things. Um, I mean, it might be good for marathon racing if you want to put a lot of gels or things in there, but I feel like I probably will, won't use all of these pockets at once. So what do I not like about these tights? Um, of course, the price is the number one thing. At $120, you can get a lot of things for that uh, price. You could probably get a brand new pair of shoes even for that price. Uh, it's definitely expensive, but you know, if the price isn't anything to you, then I definitely would recommend these tights. Um, besides the price, I can't really think of anything else that I know um, I would I don't like about these. Um, I mean, they're a little bit heavier in my opinion. I, I wish they felt more like uh, uh, thinner in, with the material, but uh, it's not really a big issue for me. I wish that they had more reflective material on these tights um, compared to some of the other tights for you know nighttime running. A lot of tights that Nike has are in the black colorway, so you know if you run at night, it's really hard to see. So I wish you would put more reflective material, maybe in the back of these tights or in the front instead of just the sides, where you know, a lot of people might not be able to see you. So overall, these are a great pair of tights. You know, if price or it doesn't mean anything or matter to you, then I would definitely recommend getting a pair of these. And um, these are pretty durable. I've had the Nike Aerosmith tights for summer. Um, and then, you know, I've washed them many times and they haven't, you know, changed at all. I like how Nike has gone away with the reflective Nike logo for some of the, or the printed Nike logo on some of the pants and tights and use the rubber one instead. So it doesn't kind of fade uh, while washing. It's a great idea. Um, and yeah, overall, you know, great fit, very comfortable. Um, good for cold weather running in my opinion. So if you guys, you know, want a pair of nice winter running tights that are comfortable, have a lot of functionality with pockets, and that wick away sweat really well and it's very breathable, then I highly recommend the Nike Dry Fit Swift tights from Nike. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is just a very quick video I wanted to make to talk about these Nike Dry Fit Swift tights. Uh, very comfortable, very functional in my opinion, but a little bit expensive and uh, maybe too functional in my opinion but i guess you can't really go wrong with all of these pockets so if you guys have any other comments feedback or questions about these please feel free to let me know down below uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet please hit that like and subscribe button i hope you guys are staying safe and your training is going well and i'll talk to you guys on the next run